For today's lecture, you may want to listen to it or watch it on your phone or another device and then practice along with me before you are expected to do this on your assignment. We are going to start out with creating a blank document. And then we are going to use a couple of things in our insert tab on the top of our document. The first thing we're going to work with is shapes. And this is the majority of the time is going to be spent here. If I click on my shapes, you will see that there's a number of different shapes that we can use and manipulate. The first one we're going to start with is just the regular square shape. You will see once you create that shape, it is blue and it has a black border around it. So if I click off of it, you can see it without the handles. Once I click on that shape, you will see the handles. The handles, the square handles in the middle, you can manipulate like that. If I were to put it back and if I grab the circles on the corners, it is going to keep my square in proportion. If I don't care if it's kept in proportion, again, I can manipulate one of the squares on the side. You will also notice that at the top, there is a circle with an arrow on it. If I grab on that, I can rotate my object around. I can move this object just by selecting the middle of it. As long as it's filled in with a color, you can move it anywhere you want. I can also go up to the top and you will see now once I've created a shape, there is a shape tab that is open and I can go through and change a couple of things here. If I go to shape style, I can pick some of the pre-made styles already. If I choose that orange one, it'll have some shading of orange with a specific black, with a specific outline. I can choose other shapes. You can see how just by selecting them, it will fill it in for you. I can go to the next drop down where there's a fill and I can just choose the color that I want my object filled. The pencil right beside the bucket will change the outline. So if I want to change the outline of my shape, I can do it right there. So now I have a green rectangle with a black outline. I'm going to insert another shape. I'm going to go to get a shape. I'm going to do a circle this time. I'm going to move it around. Um, again, if I grab the handles on the inside, which are the squares, I can make an oval out of it. If I grab one of the circles, remember that keeps it in proportion and I will continue to have a circle. You will also notice as you draw shapes, they will layer themselves on top of each other. So the most current shape that you have created is on top of the previous one. Again, I can go in and I can change the color. I can change the line and so forth of this shape. Okay, I'm going to insert a third shape. This one, I'm going to choose the triangle. Make it a little bit smaller. And you will notice as I do that, this triangle is now in the top of the three. So what I'd like you to do is just layer your objects such as that. Okay, if you want to put the blue triangle between the brown circle and the green rectangle, all I'm going to do is, I can do it one of two ways. I can click on the blue triangle up in my Arrange tab. I can send backwards, and that's going to go back one layer at a time. I could have also done this. I could have selected the brown one and arranged and brought it to the front. And so now you'll see as I move my objects, the circle is the top. Okay, let's take a look at a few more of those shapes. So we're going to go to insert shapes. 
You can see as you go down here, you have a smiley face, you have heart. If I wanted a heart there, I can change it to, we most likely have it red. And again, if I move it on top of my objects, you will see it is on the topmost part. And again, now you know how to arrange it. Something else we're going to work with is text boxes. We can type in any one of these objects that we have here, but for this assignment, we are going to use the text box. And this is the text box right here. Okay, if you miss that, it is under the insert and it's right next to our shapes. It has the T with the little lines around it. Or going from left to right, I should say. Okay, once you get the text box up there and I click on it, you will see there is an option to edit the text. So I'm gonna click on edit text. And this is where now I can go in here. I can delete, I can select all that. I can delete it and put, have a great day, okay? This right here now, again, it is a text box. You can see I can move it around. It's not stuck to the page. If you look at it, when I put it on top of this, my other objects, you can see that it has a fill of white because you can't see through it. So again, now I can go into my shape tab and instead of having a fill of white, I can choose down at the bottom, it says no fill. And now you can see that it is transparent. You will also notice that it is, it has a black line that goes around it. So again, I can go up to my line, my outline and choose no outline. What I also like to do here too, is to go in here and I can manipulate my text. Okay, so if I adjust my text box so it's just as big as, oops, so it's just as big as my text, and I go to manipulate my text, I go home, I can change the size of my font to 20, and you'll notice that you lose part of it. You don't really lose part of it, you just don't have a big enough text box. So I'm gonna grab the handle in the corner, I'm gonna make my text box bigger, and you can see that all of the words are in there. I can also center my text, just like we did before. I can choose a different font. Maybe I want something really bold. I can change the color of my font. Okay, and so then I can move it anywhere I want. I can see that this is a little bit too big for the heart. Maybe I'll just make the heart a little bit bigger and move it behind it, just like that. So again, this is how you use shapes. This is one of the, the inserts. There are plenty of other ones. For your assignment today, you are going to use those shapes and those text box to create these road signs. If you look at it, I'll kind of give you a hint how to do it. We'll take a look at the yield sign. Okay, so we'll zoom into the yield sign. So in reality, what the yield sign is, you can see that I have a text box, I have a triangle, a white triangle, and I have a red triangle. And again, all I have to do is put them on top of each other and I have a yield sign. If you look at signal ahead, you can see that I have in this one, I have a circle, a circle, a circle, a rectangle, and then a diamond with a black border and a diamond that does not have a black border. So then again, as I put it together, you will see that it makes that sign. When you are done with your project, you are going to export it as a PDF. Sometimes we have to do this so that it maintains all our fonts. So we're gonna to go to the three dots in the upper right hand corner. We are going to go down where it says export. 
we will choose PDF. Again, we will find your file folder that you are using, your word processing folder. You can name it and you can hit move and it'll save that project. Then when you are uploading to Canvas, make sure you upload the .pdf document. Make sure if you have any questions, just email me and I will try to answer it. Good luck.